Hey guys, it's been a very busy start of the year for me and because I know my schedule has gotten a little bit irregular, I wanted to take a few moments just to have a chat with you, give you a quick update and talk about all the cool stuff that will be coming soon. As you may know, towards the end of the last year, Intel approached me to do a sponsorship deal with them. Now, the last two months, pretty much was solidly working just on those two visual effects tutorials that I did in collaboration with Intel. And so I created a face melt tutorial as well as a Dragonfire breath tutorial using Adobe After Effects and a software tool that I had never used before, which is Houdini. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I highly recommend that you go and check them out and just give me some feedback whether you enjoyed them. It's less content, but hopefully a bit higher quality as well and a few more complex visual effects, especially since it's kind of pushing into the direction of working in 3D, which is something I personally haven't done too much before but yeah just leave me some comments down below whether you enjoyed them and you know other things that you might want to see in the future speaking of Houdini I still consider myself to be at a pretty basic level now I'm not at the absolute beginner level anymore I'm kind of starting to push into the intermediate level but Houdini is a very complex program it takes a long time to learn but there's so much cool stuff you can do with it and I'm really excited to start creating some content for Houdini but again, you know, this is a two-way road, so leave me some feedback down below whether you actually want to learn more Houdini. Personally, Adobe After Effects is great and I absolutely love it for everything compositing, but I have already talked about the limitations with Adobe After Effects and for advanced visual effects where I kind of want to move into, you will have to use a 3D program and some more advanced software to generate all those images and the imagery and visuals before you can blend them together in Adobe After Effects. So that's kind of the direction I'm leaning into, but again, Open to suggestions, just leave all your comments down below. I know I've been very irregular with my schedule, primarily because my last two months pretty much just went into working on those Intel videos, which I did want to spend a lot of time and I want, had a lot to learn, so they were really involved, so I've just kind of released a few small in-betweeners. Now, I know I have a few series, kind of in mid-flight, my 3D destruction tutorial series has three parts, but I've only released the first two, so I am going to release part three as soon as I can, just to wrap up that series. And then obviously the two tutorials that I've created for Intel. One is the face melting effect from Indiana Jones. It's gonna be probably a four or five part and I've only done the first one so far. So again, there's gonna be a whole lot more content coming for that series. And also for the fire breath tutorial, I've only done the very first one. Obviously there's still a lot to cover in Houdini about how you actually go about creating that fire. So again, I know I've got quite a few things going on at the moment, but my plan is First, I'm going to finish off the 3D Destruction Tutorial Series, so part three will be coming out hopefully pretty soon. Then I'm going to do a bit more face melting and then we're going to move into fire effects and a few other things in Houdini. And obviously I do want to kind of sprinkle some After Effects specific ones in the middle there. Maybe some Premiere Pro as well or HitFilm. There's just so much to do. There are so many cool videos to make and it's just all about managing my time and arranging everything. But I am trying to return to a more regular schedule Maybe not weekly, maybe fortnightly for now, but I am going to release my videos on Sunday night Australia time, so you can use some online tools to convert that to whatever time zone you may be living in. But that's going to be my goal, so I just want to return to a more regular schedule to release things at the same day of the week, just so you can rely a little bit more on content being available at a certain time of the week. Now, something that has totally flown under the radar is that I have actually set up a Patreon page. And the reason I have done that is because quite a number of people have asked me how they can support me. They want to, you know, contribute to my channel. Obviously, all my YouTube videos are free. I'm not planning on changing that. But a lot of people have contacted me asking me how they can support me. So I have set up a Patreon page. And the link for that is down in the description of the video. If you do want to check that out, again, I'm not asking for money. I'm not planning on charging anything for the videos on YouTube. I'm getting a bit of money from the ad revenue anyways, so that's good enough. But if you do want to support me and want to give something, just check out my Patreon down below. Finally, and this is a question to all of you guys, do you want to see another live event? You may not know, but at the end of December, I did a live stream, first live stream ever, went okay. A few technical difficulties at the beginning, but I'm quite keen to do another one, assuming that you guys are interested. So leave me comments down below whether you want to see another live stream or leave me topics down below of things you want to see covered in the live stream. My first one was very ad hoc. I didn't really know what I was doing. So I want to plan the second one out a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to make a video on my YouTube channel to announce the live stream, assuming there will be one. But again, just Leave me your feedback and your comments down below on whether you want to see another live event, whether you enjoyed it, you know, or whether you want the format changed or different content or you want to have different questions. So just leave everything down below and I'll do my best to make it happen. 
And that is all I have for you today, guys. I really just wanted to give you a quick update, especially with the first two months of the year being so very, very busy with my Intel sponsorship. But now I'm going to try to return to a more regular schedule. I'm going to try to finish off all of the series that I've still got in flight. Next one is going to be my 3D destruction tutorial. The third part is going to be coming out. But I've also got a lot of other cool stuff planned around Houdini, more After Effects, Premiere Pro, whole bunch of other things that are going to be coming out soon. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.